This is a tutorial about the administrative functions of Padlet.com. I've already logged in using my Google account. So now I'm looking at the dashboard of Padlet and I'm going to look in the upper right hand corner and click on New Padlet. Your new Padlet will be created and there's nothing on the wall right now. Let's take a look at the buttons at the right hand edge of the screen. This little origami bird takes you back to the dashboard or home page of Padlet. This plus sign allows you to create a new Padlet. This tells you which account is logged in. This is the export function. Information about this Padlet. Click on the question mark to get help or see Padlet tutorials. But we're going to focus on the gear. This is where you modify your Padlet and this is where the administrative functions are. Tap on that and you will see a menu pop up just to the left. So we're looking at the top at basic information and we'll go down through all the choices. I'm going to give this Padlet a title and I'm going to call it Venn Diagram. And I would suggest that you click in the description field and you write directions for your students. Those directions and the title will appear in the upper left corner. You can also choose a portrait or a little icon to represent your Padlet. I'll choose the globe. If you don't like any of the choices here, you can click Add to upload an image of your own. One of the functions you may want to get familiar with is the wallpaper. You can choose the wallpaper from the app itself, or you can click Add Your Own. I think this is really powerful, especially if you have very specific projects you'd like your students to work on. I'm going to choose the middle option, which is to upload, because I have a Venn diagram that I want to upload from my hard drive. I'm going to click Choose File, then I'm going to browse my hard drive, choose my Venn diagram that I've already created, and click Open. The file will upload, I'll see a preview, and I'll click OK. My Venn diagram now shows up as my wallpaper, and students can post text, links, and other media on top of it. Take a moment and consider all the different images that you could use to frame the student's work in Padlet. Let's take a look at the other administrative options. Click on Layout. Layout allows you to choose how posts will appear on the Padlet. Freeform is where students can post anywhere on the screen. Stream is where one post is placed sequentially below another. And Grid is where posts are displayed in a blocky rectangular type of layout. Let's take a look at the privacy options. These are important when using Padlet with students. By default, Padlet is semi-private. Someone could stumble onto your site, but chances are no one will. Either way, you'll probably want to use password protected Padlet with your students. Click in the little button, type in a password of your choice, and then choose the level of interactivity for the visitors I'm going to select Can Write so students can actually post onto my board. Notice the other options that are available to you here. You can invite people to use your Padlet by email or username if they have a Padlet account. And also you can choose to moderate posts. In other words, if you choose this option, you will have to approve the posts before they go live for other people to see. You may want to consider using this with students. Don't forget to click Submit at the bottom of the screen. Take a look at the notifications option. You can select this little button if you would like to receive an email once a day about activity on your Padlet. You can change the address of your Padlet by clicking the address button. By default, Padlet creates a random address for your site, but you can click in pick a Padlet.com address in order to customize that. So you have your username, forward slash, and then you add some characters of your choice. I'll put Venn. If it's available, you'll see a green check mark, and you click the blue pick button. And then notice in the address field at the top of your screen, you'll have a customized address. You then share this custom address with your students. Another nice function of Padlet is the copy option. Click on the copy button. This is especially nice if you have multiple sections of a class. You can copy a Padlet with posts or without. You also have a delete option. You can clear all posts or delete the Padlet entirely. 
Thank you for watching this tutorial about the administrative functions of Padlet. I hope it's been helpful.